Gemini, what's going on Gemini? It's Deb with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope you are doing well and I hope that this reading finds you safe. All right, Gemini, welcome to Windy Wednesday. Let's see what's blowing in for y'all on this Windy Wednesday. I think that your hard times, your trials, what you have been having to go through are about to end. You probably, possibly are about to get some good news that's about to come in towards you. Might be multiple different options that are coming in. Could be Scorpio, because I've just seen um, Napu in there. I believe that you're really going to be very independent when it comes to your finances and your abundance. So you might be working alone on whatever project you're doing. All right. But I feel like somebody about to come in and try to try to help you because the king of scarabs is here so this could be the ten of scarabs if you guys were to collaborate together but i feel like you're not really looking towards this person coming but i feel like this person is thinking about it yeah it's a hootie possibly they want to have a commitment with you want they want to offer commitment could be a taurus but i feel like this person really sees this as something stable for them we got justice and the four swords here. So there's some type of balance that's going on. Somebody is just in a mental rest and, you know, trying to balance out themselves, get justice for maybe a situation. Let's see. I don't know if that's you or them, Gemini. Yeah, somebody's balanced. That's why I said temperance card. Okay, let's keep going. The Four of Wands. Somebody wants something that is stable, something that is reliable, something that is dependable. They want to be able to call something home. Theirs is what I'm feeling. They want to have a secure, you know, secure relationship if it's a relationship or a secure contract if it's just money, investment. All right. So, Gemini, we have the two of discs. And with the two of discs, the energy that I'm getting is that there's been a lot of back and forth trying to decide, should I, should I not, what the offer would be. But I feel like this person does see that you are the queen of discs because the queen, the king of scarabs is the queen of discs' soulmate or connection. You guys probably really relate when it comes to finances, maybe even think the same way when it comes to making abundance. But I feel like this person is eventually gonna come in with this King of Swords and say what it is that they feel. We got the Prince of Swords. I feel like someone's been watching this King of Swords or this King of Scarabs energy. And I don't think whoever it is that has been watching has been trying to see this go through. So I feel like there's a blockage, there might be some type of connection with this person, like this other person that's trying to keep the person that wants to come towards you because there's a four disc right here. It's like they're trying to hold on to them possibly because of money. So this King of Scarabs has quite a bit of, um, and even if it's not money, their ideas, the their energy is very strong and someone wants to hold on to them and keep them from escaping them or getting away. See, this Queen of Swords. So this person might be a soulmate to them as well, the king and queen of swords. But we have multiple soulmates, so it could be that now this person wants to kind of deal with someone who's on the same vibrational energy when it comes to finances. Maybe this other person that is watching, they're, they're not as, when it, when it comes to finances, when it comes to money, they're not a hard worker. They're not someone to bring abundance into another person's life or to collaborate together I feel they're more argumentative because the queen of swords can be argumentative or they pick each other's brain apart and I feel like this person is tired of dealing with that situation is what I'm feeling it could be a brother that's trying to influence this man to be with his sister but the the, the guy that wants the king of swords huh, king of swords king of scarabs wants to go to you the queen of this but let's see what's this two of this I feel like it's like four people that I'm talking about right now. Yeah, see, I knew it. Somebody's playing with somebody, telling someone that they shouldn't go on this journey and they need to chill out, the three acceptors. But I also feel like it's 
you've been waiting for this situation to come in. You've been waiting for something like this. Maybe you don't know what's going on in the background, but the three is right before the four. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict going on. Five of Swords energy that's trying to hold this person back. So they might not only just be dealing with the person they're with, but they have their family members. Look at this. The Ace of Swords. On in reverse. And the Scribe of Scarabs. Yeah. So somebody doesn't want someone to move away they don't want them to start over again they don't want them to decide that this is the right decision that's why this person is going back and forth in their mind on if they should make this offer but they have to stand in their clarity and truth and defeat set okay this is haru so someone's gonna have to defeat that devil energy that's trying to hold them back and only giving them minimum energy like i said whoever this person that they're dealing with is nothing compared to you okay when it comes to energy when it comes to finances all that abundance mindset everything what's this queen of swords or queen of swords hmm what's this queen of this they try to pretend to be you they try to be, pretend to be you this queen of swords energy exactly you got abundance coming out of your pores the ace of scarabs just came out kepra so the God Kepra is here to establish your finances and say that you're going to continue to keep on being abundant regardless. So if this person decides not to deal with you, you're going to still get the 10 because this is all you needed. When when I was shuffling the deck, I seen the nine. So it's like you just needed the one and the creator will give that to you. But we got the warrior of scepters right here. So somebody trying to make a hasty move because I feel like this person knows the truth. But they just been stagnant because of some situation. I feel like, like I said, it's a brother or a, a dad or a cousin or something of this person that they were connected to. That's kind of like trying to force them to be somewhere. What's this king of swords? This person got to be their own man, though. You know, not let nobody bully them into being, being with somebody. The seven of scarabs. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Now we got my aunt. A set. Judgment. And the eight of swords. They're trying to keep them entrapped. They're trying to keep them entrapped with some type of magic energy that they're using. Because the eight of swords is like mental entrapment. They're, they want to keep... This King of Scarabs, King of Swords energy and trap from moving forward. This this is like, it looked like a trap too, because look, this Prince of Swords, whoever this Prince of Swords is that is a family member to this person is like waiting for them to leave, to like, uh, it, it almost looked like, um, what is it called, ambush? That's the energy I'm getting off of that. Look, or are they going to try to set them up to make them go and get locked up. Maybe they have some type of blackmail because this feels like blackmail with a set being right here in the judgment. It's like they're telling them, well, if you escape a situation or you try to escape, we're going to um, blackmail you to get you into the justice system, something like that. It's got something to do with some type of legal situation. I don't know if this person broke a law with these people and now they're trying to like backtrack towards you and it's like, Bro, you, you uh, I guess you did something that made, I don't know if it's you, Gemini, or if it's the other, the other person that made them feel like they could hang something over somebody's head. What's this Prince of Swords? Ooh, car flew all the way over there, y'all. What did, what did I say? Set? Exactly. Haru defeated Set, y'all. So somebody going to have to do that. They're going to have to free themselves from this bondage. It might be a Capricorn. Don't got to be. But somebody has put some type of fear or some type of something. It could be a mother. Libra. See? But they're being sneaky. Ten of onks. They want to keep them in a sneaky situation when it comes to family. Didn't I just tell y'all that? All right. Hold on real quick. Let me get the other card. Yeah, it was the three of scarabs. What did I say? There's a family that's like trying to set up this person. It's it's an ambush or something. Or they, they try to blackmail them, something like that. It's not good energy, y'all. 
What's this Prince of Cups? You're protected. You're protected. Bass is here. Protector of women and children. Also, your prosperity. Okay. So, whoever this is that's doing this, playing with somebody's emotions, they try to pull on their heartstrings or try to blackmail them or try to make them feel like they had to be in this uh, situation, they had to be with this person. It's not going to work because I also feel like not only are you protected, but your person is. What's this for or this? What did I say? The six of scepters. It's going to be victory over this situation. We got the two of sc uh, scarabs coming out again. The queen of scepters. And the five of scarabs. Yeah. So all this person, the reason why this person was holding on to them, the reason why whoever this is um, that's holding on to them got their family involved in the situation, making this person feel responsible for being connected to them or having to stay there is because, and this is what I feel is this person is the queen of scepters type energy but in a negative form and but i feel like you're the queen of scepters upright so this person probably envies you but also with the two of scarabs it's like they try to make this person feel like well if you decide to be with this person you're going to be broke because they're going to either try to take them for what they got if they got children together they might even be like telling them that they're gonna try to get child support or try to get some type if they were married maybe some alimony from them i feel like they're trying to take something they're coming off to me this queen of swords is like a the energy of somebody that likes to start a lot of stuff right now what's this queen of swords yeah the warrior of onks this person's heart is still blocked so they never really truly loved them the seven of, of Seven of scarabs in reverse, y'all. So that means that this was a bad investment for this person to deal with them. But it happened. So now it's a lesson to be learned. I don't know if it's you, Gemini, that, you know, wherever y'all is in the placement, I hope this helped someone or cleared, cleared something up for someone. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell. Appreciate the energy exchange. Till next time, talk to you later. Deuces.